2008, 2009, we actually started to make specific reference to ourselves as a social innovation business. Essentially, it is about bringing about innovation in, in different businesses, in different areas that has an impact on the social well-being of the communities in which we operate. Very fundamental, very basic. That's what it is about. So we want to continuously innovate and bring about new technologies, bring about new ways of doing things uh, uh, in a way that has an impact on the social well-being. Having said that, 10 years, but the concept of social innovation is actually ingrained within the foundation of Hitachi. If you look at Hitachi's identification, what Hitachi is all about, things like harmony, sincerity, you can imagine how difficult it is to find in these days. And the management desire is to ensure that the company, the staff, the 300,000 people who are employed within the company globally appreciate that and be a part of those values and be express that in the way they do their business and the way they interact with their stakeholders. Th those are the values that drive this company and we expect our employees to actually be uh, demonstrating that in the way they uh, interact with the stakeholders. Uh, it's very important for us to be doing what we are doing as an organization. At the same time, we need to be sustainable. Uh, so in the process of co-creation, we ensured that the value that is being generated both for the people and for the organization is sound, is sustainable, and it can live long. If you see Hitachi as a partner with your company, I know we have a couple of partners in this room, you can bet on it that we would like to be a long-term partner. We are not in there just to sell a product or solution and walk out of the door. We will be in there for the life of that relationship, whatever that takes decades sometimes. We have this uh, interesting bridge in our organisation and uh, you know, it, it is truly part of our identity. Operational technologies, just sitting there while Nan's speaking, watching, watching the trains go past. Uh, you know, everything from the Hitachi Rattlers in Victoria, I think they've been replaced, right through to the tilt train. It was not quite tilting right, but we fixed that. Uh, right through to what we do in the Shinkansen and of course the trains as a service probably speaks very highly to how we approach social innovation. At one level, there's an infrastructure. Now, we assume that infrastructure is going to work. We assume that we'll, we'll take the train, it'll be on time. Of course, there's the whole digital side, the whole wrap-up, which must be an integration between the train system, transport, uh, between the city. Obviously, uh, citizens need to arrive at, uh, at the train station to travel and need to arrive at, the, uh, at their destination to be in on time. So all of those systems need to come together and those societal systems that, that I've just discussed or those, those problems are answered a lot by our unit in contribution and collaboration with other units such as it might be our Ansaldo SDS in terms of signalling. We obviously will rely on New South Wales Transport and their data as well. There's, there's so many data sources we need to bring together, both within our operational context, within external context, and of course some that we just need to generate. We don't have the data today and we need, we need to make it happen. That's where we tend to fit. And what we're going to do today is, as Anand said, Hitachi's this wide. It's, it's a very large organisation. Today we're going to talk about a particular practice and particular threads in a particular practice. Here's another interesting problem. And you know, every country I go to, everyone says, is it really a problem? That's the first, the first thing I hear. So in Australia, it's about a $7.5 billion issue. Uh, it costs us all, I think the guesstimation is in the order of three, $400 a year. Um, you, you pay for it now, your, your, pro your, your product price is a little higher. And uh, you know, th th the retailers thank you for that contribution. Uh, but uh, essentially, organised crime is, is happening in all the large chains. Certainly in the, in the top uh, 10 retailers in Australia, it's, it's, a, it's a common issue. The reality is the, uh, a thief is, is a 95% uh, recurring thief. It's quite unusual for someone to have an intention to steal something as a one-off. 
Uh, it's also the case where there are a lot of organised crimes in, in, in Australia, you know, groups of five to ten people who are targeting certain retailers and either redeploying the goods through, uh, funnily enough, through two main channels, one, one through our typical Craigslist, eBay, uh, building site, uh, tradesman, example, example, example. The other one, of course, is just quite simply picking it up off the shelf and going to another returns desk and say, I'd like to return this, please. It's in all uh, countries in Asia uh, ironically, Australia is not the biggest, and, and Australia uh, has some interesting ratios, and that is something like 40% 40, 40 of uh, theft is uh, customer-based, is estimated, 60% is, is back office, but they can't differentiate because the product goes, uh, the person in, uh, in, that's managing the, uh, the store behind the, behind the till, if they're, uh, if they're clean or not clean, are going to say, we didn't steal it, so it's a customer. But what we enabled uh, our customers to do is to take those facial images and enroll them inside of a, a person of interest database. So you're only in the database and you're only recognised if you're a bad guy. We're looking for bad guys here. We're not trying to um, encroach on anybody's privacy. We're not trying to do anything other than stop the bad guys. And how many of you can say that about who you work for? I'm really, really proud to work for Hitachi. Because what we've done here is we've built a solution in a co-creation model where we went and took the, the best of breed technologies to get the customer outcome, where we're actually making a difference to society. We're actually finding criminals and bringing them into justice where they wouldn't have been otherwise.